This year for our sixth grade homeschool, we did a soft start about four weeks ago, which means we did not incorporate everything that we are planning for this year. We just started slowly and then gradually we were incorporating more and more. And then this past week, we started what we consider to be our full time days. And with that soft start, we have changes. I have already discovered a few changes that we are going to have to make from our original curriculum plans. And today I want to talk about science. What are we going to do for sixth grade science? Well, for starters, we're going to use three different books. Now, stick with me, please, because I do have a method to this madness. And then at the end of the video, you know, you can let me know whether I've totally lost my marbles and bit off more than I can chew, or if you think that we can make this work. Now, the key to understanding all of this about science is really our geography. We are doing exploring countries and cultures from my father's world for geography and in it they incorporate biome which can be found in the chemistry and ecology master's book they have taken the properties of ecosystems from answers in genesis and incorporated into this book i had this book from where i purchased it on a scratch and dent sale from master books i knew that we were going to use it eventually because we love the god's design series and so i went ahead and purchased it when it was on that scratch and dent sale so i already had it during our soft start we did start using this science i wanted it as a review because all about biomes and last year in my daughter's fifth grade year we did a six-week study on biomes right before christmas and it was great she had a lot of fun she learned a lot so in my mind, we weren't going to have to really delve into biomes this year. It would just be a very simple review and then we can move on and use other science. Well, she was loving this biome study. She really wanted to dig deeper into the information. She was enjoying the information and the experiments that we were doing with these biomes. And so I thought, well, we need to keep this up. We need to keep doing the biome study as indicated in exploring countries and cultures. And so we're going to do that. We will be utilizing the properties of ecosystems that are included in this God's design book while we are studying exploring countries and cultures. However, two things to note. Number one, we are planning on this being a two year geography course. And therefore, I need to bring in more science. I need to do more things. Exploring Countries and Cultures does mention that this is not enough science for seventh grade. So they actually recommend utilizing another science program for seventh grade. So we are going to be utilizing another science program. Yes, my daughter is in sixth grade, but considering she just did that biome study where we need to have something else to beef it up because some of it is really simply a review. And number two, if you did see my initial video on exploring countries and cultures, I mentioned that there were some countries that they did not touch on that I really want to make sure we do. And so we are going to be incorporating those countries, some other countries in this study, which of course will then expand it and it will help me with this two year plan for world geography that I have to use this. So then what science are we going to use when we are studying countries that are not included in exploring countries and cultures? What are we going to do for science then? Well, let's talk about that. In fourth grade, my daughter did the God's Design Life, but we did not do the animals portion of this book. And I will link a video down below explaining why we didn't. But I'm going to come back and utilize the animals portion of the God's Design Life when we are studying other countries. So then we can talk in depth about the animals that are specific to those countries. So we're going to go back to animals from this God's Design Life book. So that is the second science book that we will be using in sixth grade, but I said three, so let's talk about the third one. The third science book that we're going to be using is 
Physical World. Again, God's Design for Life series. We started this at the end of her fifth grade year when we finished Heaven and Earth. If you're interested in our review for Heaven and Earth, please make sure you are subscribed because I will be coming out with it shortly. We did start Physical World at the end of fifth grade and loved it. This whole God's Design series, she really liked short chapters, hands-on experiments, and those are things that she really enjoys. And she did love these experiments. So what I'm going to do is when we are studying those countries that are not included in exploring countries and cultures and the animals just doesn't really go with that, we will be utilizing physical world. And so in the end, it's going to be very much a general science course that she is taking throughout sixth grade and into seventh grade because this will take us two years, I'm sure of it, for us to go through these books. But I really think that she will enjoy it because it is that general science where she will be touching on different aspects of science and it's not the same thing throughout the whole year. That is something that was an issue with Heaven and Earth. By the time we got to the Our Planet Earth, she was just kind of done with it. <laughs> she was done with studying the universe and the weather and water and our planet Earth. She wanted to do something different, which I think is one of the reasons that she was so excited about the physical world, the physics portion that we did at the end of fifth grade. So that's my plan. Now, please let me know in the comments what you think of my plan. Have I totally lost my rocker on this one? Have I bit off more than I can chew? Or does it actually make sense why we will be using three separate science books for our sixth grade year? I hope that you are enjoying the beginning of your homeschool year. Bye-bye.